Here's one for you. What does the VX1 do when it's not running volumetric software? It sounds like the starting line of a joke, however, the user experience and navigation around our technology is anything but. Ensuring users can operate our display with ease requires some serious thought and design. We have many videos showing off our volumetric display, but not much about the humble systems that manage content and display settings. This video will reveal the importance of our secondary screen and introduce Vertex. Our devices always have two screens, a swept surface screen, which is dedicated to creating the 3D image, and a secondary traditional touchscreen. It is the touchscreen that provides the interface for adjusting various settings. While a VX application is running, the secondary screen displays volume and application settings. Here is a quick look at the various setting tabs. Most of these tabs are to do with the appearance of the volumetric display itself. The last tab on the right is program specific. While the device is idle, Vertex is shown. Vertex is our graphical user interface that handles system updates, manages installed apps and media packages, and allows a user to adjust various display settings before the volumetric screen is initiated. Here is Vertex recent view, kind of like the home page. It shows the five most recently launched applications. The library lets you browse through downloaded packages, which can be either apps or media. We list the package details here, which includes the input methods, the developer's name, and a bit of a blurb about that package. You can favourite a package and categorise all your desired packages in one handy list. See? Let's launch something and see what happens. And our volumetric display springs into action. This program is VoxyOS, which allows you to view 3D media types. Do you like our 3D file browser? I think it's pretty cool. We love showing this ant model. <laughs> Use the touch screen to change the color of the display. Vertex can remove or install software packages. Check the store tab to see what's new to download. You can download Voxon applications or media packages. You can even browse screenshots of the application. Press the download button to install the package. There is also a built-in download manager to manage what's being downloaded. Almost all settings to do with the VX1 can be adjusted through Vertex via the Settings tab. Things to do with colour and display. The aspect ratio and keystone settings. Audio, input and network settings are found under the miscellaneous panel. And finally, settings to do with Vertex. My favourite here is changing the current theme. There's quite a few crazy colour combinations you can enjoy. Thanks for allowing me to indulge in some of these behind the scenes systems. I hope you have a fuller insight into how VX applications are run and a better understanding of what it's like to interact with one of our displays. For more information about our technology, please visit www.foxon.co. Thanks again.